So it seems as if Kimberly and TJ have now broken up. And well, Kimberly decided to leave us with a very um, heartfelt message. So let's get into it. I don't feel like in any marriage, anybody should have to beg or think or ask twice for something as simple as holding your hand, for something as simple as getting a kiss in the morning if you're leaving. I don't think that that's a lot to ask for. But it doesn't stop there. So, he left, he came back, I'm completely getting ready, I'm completely packing up the entire room, and he's just scrolling through his phone whenever we're done. So, I grab his phone, and I try to be, you know, seductive or something like that. And I grab his phone, I, I put it to the side, and I swing to kiss him. Again. Kissing a brick wall. I don't think anybody should have to beg to be kissed by their partner. And again, I'm not trying to do a whole makeup session. I'm just trying to get a peck. But, did I take it too far? Perhaps. So what I did was immediately, I'm shattered, once again. Because I'm feeling like I'm telling you, I need physical affection. I need this in my life. I can't just go through life not being hold, not being held, not having my hand touched, not being touched at all. I can't go through life like that. And this isn't the 11th, the 14th, 17th, none of these have been the first time I've mentioned these. This has been an ongoing thing since we got married two years ago. I need this in the relationship. And he said that he'd be able to provide it for me. And he used to before we got married. Whenever I would cry, he would hold me and ask me to talk to him. This person has not been around since we've gotten married. The person that was sensitive, the person that was sweet, the person that would listen to me whenever I started crying, the person that would try to have that bond with me has not been here since getting married. Personally, I'm actually quite surprised that they, they, that they lasted as long as they did. I thought that these two were probably going to break up sooner. So to be fair, the fact that they've lasted, what, two years is actually quite incredible. Um, but boy... <laughs> the fact that she's making a video about it that's a bit wild you know i think obviously when people break up if you're in the public eye it's okay to it's of course it's normal to say hey guys we're broken up now blah 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 blah. but you know when people break up and then they air out their dirty laundry <laughs> that tells me exactly why they broke up because yeah that type of attitude is wild <laughs> i mean even when it's not people in the public eye it could it could be someone that you know and you open up your Facebook or something like that. And all of a sudden they're, they're giving a whole statement of why they're no longer with this person. I'm thinking, what the hell is going on here? But anyway, let's continue. So after being rejected the second time within an hour and a half, two hour span, I was like this. And that's about as hard as I did it. Just like that, I pushed his face away from me because I was so tired and I was so frustrated. I mean, that's her version of the story in terms of how she pushed him. For all we know, it could have been different. Now, of course, we have seen how explosive Kimberly can be on the show. It doesn't necessarily, and I'm not saying we've ever seen her really be physical, but we've seen that when she's explosive, she finds it hard to control herself. So hmm. it would be interesting to hear his side of the story regarding this whole, you know, push situation. And then I just went downstairs. I told him that I couldn't do this and that I needed, I needed to go. Speaking of going, on the 17th, whenever we did have that second fight, I told him that I was going back to the United States. I told him I wanted to get some stuff straightened out. I'd like to leave on good terms, but I would definitely be coming back to the United States, and I don't know for how long. I planned on leaving in two or three weeks. So me leaving now is not a big deal because I was planning on leaving regardless, and he knew that. But um, so I went downstairs yesterday in the hotel and I sat in the lobby and I just waited for him because I how many times is this girl gonna get rejected in one day? So then we got into the cab to go to the bus station. 
I will say this rejection in your when you're in a relationship with somebody, or to be fair, F that rejection in general is obviously never necessarily, you know, something that feels good. But when you're in a relationship, when you're married to someone, you're being rejected by the person that you shared vows with. Yeah, that that right there, that would sting hard. Sting hard. But I would still it would be cool if we could get his life side of the story to find out why was he rejecting her? Was there something that she was doing? That put him in a position where he felt like he wanted to reject it because sometimes, and this is this is what I would call um, somewhat of a closure. I mean, look at it this way: in some relationships, sometimes some partners start to reject their partner, but the problem is, is that sometimes the conversation isn't even had. Now, the person that's been rejected can would usually ask, "Hey, why are you rejecting me?" But then the person that's rejecting sometimes doesn't always want to say the say the answer. And when they don't want to say the answer, that should tell you that person doesn't feel safe around you anymore. Like, like you're not you're not their safe space anymore, if you know what I'm saying. But either way, though, it will be interesting to find out why he was rejecting her. And to be fair, if what she's saying is even true, I mean, I can guess why he was probably rejecting her because we've seen the way she is. He probably got sick and tired of her madness, and that ended up becoming a massive turn off for him. But again, hmm, yeah. And we stopped at this restaurant where he, um, he got some fries because it's hard for me to find food to eat in India. Is this a nice gesture? Of course. He was being nice. Did I want the fries? Absolutely not. So we got the fries and I went to go pick one up and then he went and grabbed it out of my hand. Or tried to. And I said, just grab it out of my fucking hand. Did I cuss? Absolutely. I did. I cuss a lot. I think anybody knows I'm a cusser. It's what I do. However, that was the only time yesterday I did say a password to him. And he took the fry and threw it down and decided that it was all me. And granted, like I said, I'm not innocent here. Neither of us are innocent here. It takes two to tango. It takes two to fight within a relationship. It takes two to not do what the other person needs. And in order to make a relationship work, you need both people to cooperate, both people to communicate. And at this point, neither of us were doing that. So we rode home on the bus for five hours, the entire time I'm sitting there crying, and he's over there asleep. Or just ignoring me, one or the other. Whenever he's awake, he's not talking to me. Whenever he's not awake, obviously, he's asleep. That's what happens. So, today. Today we were supposed to do the summer, I mean, the autumnal solstice. I've been planning this since the 11th. Only thing I wanted to do, have a couple people over, make a bunch of food. I didn't think that was a lot to ask for, but apparently it is. Hold on. Let me get my vibe up a little bit. And puts his face near me. And I say, no, TJ, I need to this. Now, I do know that TJ did originally make a post, but uh, sadly, TJ decided to take down his freaking Instagram. And the post he made was before Kim came out and actually did this uh, live stream um, that obviously was caught by uh, the reality TV mess. So shout out to them. But um, all I know is that in TJ's message stuff in particular, the one that I actually missed, or well, the one that I don't have anymore because, yeah, which he annoyingly, well, not annoyingly, but I guess for whatever reasons he needed, he decided to deactivate his social media accounts. Therefore, um, I was unable to get it because originally, obviously, I would keep the person's page up and then da 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 da. But hey, this is why you should screenshot your 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 shiz, you know. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, though, either way, I from what I remember, when he wrote down what he wrote down on his post, he wasn't exactly addressing anything that she says here. So she's also also gone on and said different things in this video. So it'll be interesting just to hear his perspective based on what she said here. But obviously, we're not going to get that because currently he is not online. And to be fair, I don't know if he's ever even going to return to social media again. But even if he does, I don't know if he would be the person to then, you know, have a response to what she's got to say, because why? He doesn't need to necessarily, you know. And if anything, their matter is of something that should be dealt with in private. But at the same time, clearly it has been because now they are no longer together anyway. But nonetheless, though, let me know your thoughts and uh, we can talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And of course, peace. Oh.